Hello guys and uh, welcome to a new video update. Um, we're coming at you August 10th here with a strength day actually. So what I'm doing right now um, through my sort of set in stone training split is five mostly full body days. Um, what you're seeing right now is sort of the prehab, um, warm up, dynamic stretching routine that I go through through uh, at the start of each of those five days. So uh, I plan on doing a video for all five of the different days. But um, and uh, so it's pretty much um, an exercise or two or a movement or two for every major muscle group. So push ups into burpees here. Um, then I'm doing long stride lunges. Uh, then we're doing lying windshield wipers into jump squats, inverted rows, and then finally side lunges. So on these, uh, these five mostly full body days, they're, they're very demanding. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just priming and readying the body for what is the, the very heavy work to come. Uh, and I do find the, the warm up in this case, especially on this train split to be uh, essential for lack of a better term. So you do get a little bit of blood flow going, but we're not taking these movements to failure. And uh, as you can see, even with the push-ups, like it's not a full range of motion or anything like that. Like um, I'm just, I'm making sure that when the time comes to hit my first heavy set, and today it's a, a, a lifetime PR on squats, um, that my body's ready and I'm not risking any sort of injury by not being warmed up enough or not having my body primed for the heavy movements. And I would say that this has been vital to my success um, in improving uh, poundages throughout the last 10 weeks. Uh, I've put 40 pounds on my top set of squats. Um, it's, uh, it's something that I'm going to... This was the first program that I really did this in uh, every single day before these five workouts per week. And it's something I'm going to keep going, uh, keep with going forward especially before going into something like squats or deadlifts. Like, uh, it's nice to just know that you're, you're safe going into the workout. Um, it kind of aids in performance. You, know, you don't have to feel like you're not uh, primed or you don't have to do extra warm-up sets. You can just put all of this energy uh, into working up to your first working set. So after these side lunges, uh, I'll take you into the specific exercises and movements for the strength day. And on the strength day, what we're doing is working with low reps to try and build raw strength. So the, the low reps and the multi-joint movements um, primarily fall on this day. Now, obviously, there's some other movements that are multi-joint or compound movements and other exercises that I use a, a smaller rep range or a lower rep range in that are also throughout the week um, through the full body five-day uh, weekly split. But uh, it's carefully regulated and most of them fall on this day. So here we're hitting squats, um, four working sets. We start at 380 and we add five pounds. It's four sets of five. Working up to those four working sets, it was a set of 12 at 135, a set of 12 at 225, and a set of eight at 315. All definite warm up sets. Um, huge number of reps left in the tank. And then it's just getting right into these. Um, first set, uh, just because the camera angle may look a little shallow, but you get a good look at the depth here. And um, as you can tell as well, I got a long femur and uh, I'm five foot ten. It's um, not short, but it's not tall, but I guess uh, maybe in bodybuilding culture it is a bit on the taller side. Here's the set at 390. Um, this was last week's top set, uh, and even last week, 390 was the most I've ever had on my back, uh, period, but managed to get five reps with it, and, uh, I'm not trying to make any excuses for, you know, depth or anything like that, like, I'm still, I'm more than breaking parallel, um, certain camera angles make it a little bit harder to tell, but, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much going as far as my hips will let me here, yeah. being 175 pounds and having 390 plus on my back uh, to be able to keep balance. Hey, what's up? So here's the, uh, the hey. top set at 395. And there's my man, Tony. 
I've been friends with him for years, and uh, what a great mustache, and give me a little bit of ribbing for maybe some unnecessary uh, volume with that set, but um, the truth is I I don't even think about it, so like I I don't egregiously yell or anything like that, Um, a lot of it takes kind of get in my own head, and when you're dealing with weights that uh, surely can make you shit your pants, if you take a, you know, a little twist, um, I'll take a little bit of grunting over, you know, having a change underwear or, or go buy some and resume the workout. So there's that set here. Uh, wasn't really programmed, but I was feeling so damn good. I wanted to get 405 in my back. And like I said, uh, 395 was the highest I've ever had in my back. I just wanted to see what I could do with 405. Uh, I see a lot of people half repping 405 for 8, 10, 12 reps, and I just wanted to give it my best shot and see what happens. So here we go. After that, it's on to the barbell stiff leg deadlifts. So one warm-up set at 225 for 12 reps just to get a feel for the movement. Uh, And then we jump into our first working set, which is uh, 335. Now, I have done heavier barbell stiff leg deadlifts than this, but not immediately after PRing squats and not on such a central nervous system demanding day. Now, you're going to say, well, it's only the second movement anyways. Yes, that's true, but uh, with the following exercises and rep schemes and set schemes, you'll understand why uh, the poundages are the way they are. Uh, I simply need to be able to recover before tomorrow's or for tomorrow's full body day, mostly again. And I'm going to sound like a broken record if you've uh, watched any of my videos where I go through barbell stiff leg deadlifts. But again, you want to keep a constant angle of knee flexion so when i say that i don't mean it's got to be 87 degrees Uh, i don't mean that it's got to be 74 degrees i don't mean it's got to be five degrees it doesn't matter what degree it is you set your knee joint up so that it is straight but not locked and from there the only action or at least the, the primary action should be hip action, should be hip flexion and extension. What that means in layman's terms is shove your ass to the back wall and then hump that barbell. And uh, top set there is 350 for five. Now next is a super set. So we're doing incline dumbbell press, uh, four sets of seven here with 90s um, and a full range of motion. And then we're supersetting that with wide grip pull-ups from a dead stop that are weighted. And so here, obviously, um, a lot of upper chest activation, but this is just my movement, my main movement, I guess, um, for shoulders, triceps, and chest on this strength day. And then for here on the wide grip pull-ups, it would be lats, traps, rear deltoids um, and biceps and four sets of five here on the top set was with a 45 pound dumbbell between my calves so um, it isn't often uh, or at least it wasn't often until I got to the last few weeks of this training program that there would be you know multiple shirt changes (laughs) throughout a workout but just gets to a point where I soak one shirt, I get another one on, it's a second shirt that's soaked, and then we're on to a third shirt here. So these aren't uh, taken on on different days. Um, The next super set here is the TRX rows, uh, three sets of 13, paired with uh, plyometric push-ups for three sets of 13. And it's just a secondary movement. Um, Again, like not every single 
uh, exercise that I'm going to do is going to be in the five to seven rep range. Um, and I try to switch up the modalities as well, uh, just to keep things, you know, a little bit more, hate to say it, but I guess functional. And after that superset, uh, it's three sets of a superset for abs. So we're doing hanging leg raises. And uh, these here are paired with planks. And I'm just doing the planks for 30 seconds. And neither of these are really taking the failure. Um, so three sets of 15 for hanging leg raises with no weight between my toes. Obviously not the failure for me, swinging through these pretty easily. And then also with the planks, I mean, 30 seconds. You can see in the last, the previous uh, videos that I was doing, I was doing weighted planks for much more than 30 seconds. Um, and that's about it for the actual strength training component. After this, I did some high intensity interval training. So we're doing eight, not all out, but uh, very brisk runs of 10 seconds with small breaks in between. You can take a good look at the little bronze there. Um, but yeah, like everything is going pretty well. Um, I've officially transitioned in, into an off season now. Um, weight is holding steady between 176 and 179 every day. Um, and that, it all depends on the nature of my work, which is now very physical labor uh, and the activity I, I throughout a work day. Um, if I do so choose to have a cheat meal, um, if I try to increase my static uh, food sources to make up for an increased workload throughout the day, um, if it's a day where I'm teaching class or personal training as well, I've had a bunch of people in my DMs and in my corner kind of ask me what my, my competition plans are. Um, so as I, I just said, I, I am in an official off season now, but I do plan on competing multiple times in 2021. I'd like to hit a, a, a spring show. I'd like to hit a summer show and a fall show. Uh, depends on how the, the season goes at my competitions. Um, for pro qualifiers or nationals or what have you. But uh, I'm very confident that any stage that I show up at, a uh, natural stage in Canada, I will be competitive at. It uh, has been what will be with a five week blip in it, which would be the forgotten prep, um, but just served as a very productive mini cut. Um, a very solid two and a half year off season. Um, there's been a lot of improvement and I uh, just wanted to hit my man Brent up here with a little, I saw that right there, hey, eh? 405 on my back, the little guy. Yeah, you're impressed. Don't even act like you're not. I saw it. But uh, this was at 179 pounds. This was from about a week ago. Like I said, there's been lots of improvement. Um, uh, legs are always going to be a strong point for me, and uh, this is now 25 pounds over my <laughs> lightweight limit. Um, there's still lines in you know my legs from the side. Um, pretty good condition. There's a little bit of hamstring sighting there. Um, obviously, a lot more tissue in my back, my shoulders. Um, not the most flattering lighting ever. And then also, I'm white as can possibly be. Like always, um, but whatever stage this gets on, I do feel like it'll be competitive as long as it's a natural stage and it's in Canada. Um, there might be other plans in the near future, but for now, that's the the wave I'm going to ride. I'm I'm happy with how things have progressed, and I'm very excited to get on a stage. Until next time, thanks guys, and have fun.